Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we have Atari, Atari Cat. Atari Cat. Yes. And we have three games, one on the 2600, yes. two on the 7800, mm. so I'm going to have to take two of these down. Oh my goodness. There we go. Nice. Let's put them over here. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the game we're going to be playing on the 2600 today is an exclusive world premiere by Vladimir Zuniga, Yay! also known as VHZC Yay! for VHZC games. This is awesome. a fluffy Atari. This is the fluffy one. Yes. Not made out of plastic and yes. metal. Well, those ones are fluffy too, but yeah. uh, on the inside probably. Poofs off his fluff. So, yeah. uh, and yeah, we're going to be inside. playing Side to Bounce on the 7800 and also uh, an update to Stone Age. The game you managed to crash at PRG. Yay! Let's see if Tanya can make it crash again. <laughs> That's what <laughs> it I has, do. Has been an update since okay, then. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, that seems to be similar to what you did at PRG. So okay, we'll okay. We'll see how you do. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Who are scrolling here. beside uh, this fluffy cat. Oh, this cat is so full of love. 8 bit Poe, Alan LaFerre, Andrew Atari, Arms Car, Coder Atari, 1974 Atari, HBR Poe, Cup, Bruno Stacks, Chelston, Mel, Charles Wynn, Chitla, uh, Cuban, Ismo, Sierra, Naribu, Dianoi, Dale, Andrew Dugger, Dale, uh, Dan, ABC, Dave, M, DMC, Duck, New Cows, Eric Carr, Gamma, Dev, Great, uh, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Aroldo, Ju, J, G, W, Johnny, W, C, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco, 2600, Developed for Lambda Express, Mandy, Sympathy, Mark, Games, Mark, Games, Mark Space, Inc., Mick, Muse, Mike, Soul, Mike, Tell, MK, Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy, Fun, Snaith, Strum, Nostalgia, Coog, Irando, R. Antwitz, Raymond, C, R, C, 70, Run to Ghost, Revan, Tuli, Ricardo, Pimp, Smitty, B, Spicer, Spinley, Estimers, Tiki, Dan, K, T, P, T, P, T, Trek, and D, Tweeny, Bex, Party Ranch. time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. Cats. VVG Double Down and X Ken Yay! X. And if you want to support <clears throat> the show, you can. Just hit subscribe, <clears throat> just like Carl G did. Yay, Carl G! Just before the show. Awesome. And he resubscribed. Awesome. Uh, now for 61 months. <gasps> wow. 61. Thank you for the unending support. Wow. Carl G. That's five years. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Nice. Um, if not, you can just follow us mm -hmm. on Twitch so you'll know when we are doing the show live. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cat. You're not supposed to be up there. That's oh, they're, they're like... Danger zone for cats. Where is the cat? Yes. Thank Gamma you, Gamma De Dev. Gamma Dev is uh, giving these cats some catnip. Hi. So let's get some Sid. coasters out for these so many cats. There you go. <laughs> All right. Who uh -huh. wants catnip? Don't interrupt the roll call of supporters. Okay. Well, you can, but we will uh, just give it after. Give the catnip after. He's, Spread he's... it far apart. Because I think that uh, little bad cat, Sid, is just going to roll over and uh, take, take Atari's. There we there go. There he goes. Atari has a fighting chance of getting a tiny bit of catnip at least now. Oh, I thought he was close enough to the end accounting for life. Very <laughs> yeah. close. Yeah. It was like couple couple to go yeah yep. oh oh they're both on the oh well, there we go both, both two roly-poly cats roly-poly cats there you go kitties. carl g says trying to throw sid off his tree time game later oh well we'll see how that affects yeah. his uh bell ringing abilities yeah. they both seem to be into the catnip today yeah. evenly evenly dosed, dosed. yeah it's true sid usually gets all of it almost yeah. and atari's left in the cold oh there's this atari time, oh atari's very heavily dosed with it. Yeah. They're both rolling around like crazy. <laughs> so happy. Happy catnip cats. <laughs> Thank you, Gamma <laughs> Look at Atari. Atari's really happy too. He's like, I haven't had it in so long. <laughs> oh, that Sid cat just takes it all. Look at them. Oh my God. It's so much fun they're having. Yeah. Um, so I have a poll question. Um, I haven't had one in a long time, but... Uh, so long that I Carl G says some cats can hold their nip better than others. Yeah, that's right. Aww. Oh, it's been so long. It's not. Oh no. Oh, the poll's not working. Oh, oh, maybe I can do it real quick. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna quickly type it in. <laughs> they are having a cat trip. Yes, they and, are. And oh. Atari's asleep. Uh, <laughs> He's done. Okay. 
Uh, there's Paul. Has one single game convinced you to buy a retro console? Oh, I'm interesting. I'm talking about like just one game. I want to play that one game, I and I'll buy a whole console for, for it. Yeah, and oh, uh, so the answers are one for yes, two for no, and three for accumulation of games. It wasn't just one game. Mm. I guess no is the same as that, but um, I'm trying to think of any systems that I was just mm -hmm. like, okay, this one game is, is awesome. I got to get this system for this one particular game. I mean, a lot of my retro game consoles, well, Atari ones, are based on homebrew games. Mm. And that's definitely a accumulation of games. It's not just one homebrew game. But I'm trying to think outside of... Um, of Atari systems that I play on the show. Hmm. Um, Vectrex, no, <clears throat> that's just a cool system. All the NES systems, there's a bunch. Uh, Nintendo systems, there's a bunch of games for them. Was there any particular game that triggered you to buy a console? I guess N64. Okay. I don't like many games on that because of the era of 3D yeah. on it. So probably uh, Super Mario Brothers 64. Psst. Hey. Hey, um, Super Mario Brother 64. Yeah, because you're not a big fan of the system as a whole. No, it's just too early in the 3D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, by RetroCard, you mean time it was released? No, now. Now, now, oh, now, now, now. so not at, not not at the like, time. Hey, 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 oh hey. Oh, my goodness. That's why I put retro console instead of console. You are so, you're full of catnip. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Get down. Yeah, the, the Nuon is probably the best answer for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tempest 3000, because right. Nuon didn't have many games. Ooh, Kangaroo for 2600. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad version of Kangaroo. It's hard as hell, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl G., Maggie got real sports curling before she had a 5200. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's kind of a system seller for mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. uh, does it count if it's yours? Yeah, you bought it for that game. Yeah. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that does count. I think that does. So I'm going to put one because of the N64. I can't yeah. think of any other systems that I'm like, oh, there's only one game yeah. <laughs> that I want on it. Uh, no, not even handhelds. Um, you might no. want to flip the screen. Oh, yeah. Cats have yeah. left. Cats they have vacated. Left. <laughs> they vacated. <laughs> I bought the 7800 to try my own games. None developed yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Does that count as a game, though? If it's your game, that's the only game but you want. It's your game. Yet. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that's like a uh, chicken before the egg kind of thing. Mm. Uh, any other? Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, it's Tempest 3000, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so mostly no, but a third is yes. So Interesting. So yeah. they definitely have bought the console for a game. And I mean, you really do have to have a good game to sell, at least one good game to sell a system. When you release a system, like, Thinking back of when it's released. Because if you put out like 10 terrible games, nobody's going to buy the system. Yeah, yeah. And nobody's going to buy the games. So, yeah, you have to have at least one good game. Got a Jaguar to play Slam Racer. There we go. I bet a lot of Game Boys were purchased just for Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. 100%. Um, I wonder, there's been a lot of really good games for the Switch, but I'm trying to think back for <gasps> the beginning of the <clears throat> Switch. Did they release Zelda? at the time the Switch was released, or was it just Mario? No, because I think I waited on the Zelda games to buy them because they were quite expensive. Right. Um, oh, That's Double Down rebought an Odyssey 2 for the amazing homebrew port of Hero. Mm. So that counts. That counts. Finally mm. bought my PS4 because the physical release of Res Infinite. Oh, wow. Never bought a retro console unless you count an unreleased console. Mm. Breath of the Wild was dual released. Released and then released again? I don't know. Uh, as like a... Uh, it might have been released as, upgrade? Uh, as part of the... Like you could buy it with oh, the with console. It. But uh, I, I think the console we bought had whatever the Mario title was at the time. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Switch. <laughs> no, it wasn't Super Mario that. Land or one of those. Yeah. I oh. can't remember the name. ITC says, I technically bought oh, the Switch for Animal I, Crossing. Wii U and Switch, yeah, yeah. But I bought that for the wife. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, did you, well, you bought that later. I I right? bought Animal Crossing when it came out. I was like, I don't usually buy games <laughs> when they first come out, and there are so, some exceptions to that. And it's usually because I'm cheap, 
And usually I want Ninten- the Game of the Year version of something. Well, usually Nintendo games are, are just, that's it. Well, there is no they game go of the year. down there a is, bit over there's no time. There's DLC usually. Yeah. No, they go down like They that go much. down a bit over time. So I'm Five, usually kind of cheap. Animal Crossing was the exception. Animal Crossing came out and I was like, yeah, I want to play that. Because <laughs> it was it was COVID as well. The cuteness so I feel it. overloaded. I feel it. Oh, too much cuteness. Have uh, to buy it. Baldur's Gate 3. I was like, oh. I am buying this the moment it comes out. That was on a PC. But did we buy that a, was a PC, PC for that? No, we didn't buy a PC upgrade for it. We the had PC? the PC first. But, but did uh, we upgrade our PC because of that? Or do, like, no, no, no. Why no, did no, we no, upgrade no. it? No, we upgraded it because we just wanted a good PC. Okay. And then I played Outer Worlds, and then Baldur's Gate 3 came out, and then I forgot about all Outer Worlds entirely. Um, and what did we buy the Wii for? Probably probably just Mario Brothers. <laughs> Super Mario know, Brothers, I, probably. I, we just wanted a Wii. There was I don't so think many it was a game. It. Yeah. But we anyway, bought it a little bit later. Yeah. Like, we had a 360 first. Wii Sports came with the, came <laughs> with the Wii. It's not terrible. Um, it's not terrible. I can't think if there was a specific game we bought the Wii for, though. Um, I ordered the Switch and Animal Crossing so. at the same time so they would get delivered. Yes, there you go. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to our first game, mm. uh, which is uh, Ninjish Guy Jr. Uh, so the uh, lineage is branching out for Ninjish Guy uh, by VHC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. I'm excited to see the junior part. <laughs> so it, it, like in my post on us. Uh, some awesome. social media i i likened it to uh donkey kong jr oh yeah yeah uh, jump yeah. man jr yeah. and pac-man jr pac-man jr uh, and i think that's kind of what he's going for oh, so i looked funny. up um at least like this because i think donkey kong is the biggest lore oh, out of all those where there's a whole family tree there yeah so there's like oh my gosh cranky kong which is actually the original donkey kong from donkey kong really yeah he got old because you know, is that oh i see i see um there's just donkey kong jr and i guess there's two of them uh and, and then junior. donkey kong in the newer iterations of donkey kong funny so that's the modern Donkey Kong, and that's the old Donkey Kong. You got old and cranky. My goodness. Yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of other Donkey Kongs all over the place, or Kongs, what? I suppose. That is so funny. It is. It's very. I I am not. I have not played as many of the Donkey Kong games or the more modern no. ones. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But. Uh, they're not really up my alley too much. Yeah. I mean, they're platformers, so yeah. it's not too bad. But I just never got into them. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Different era. Yeah. Yeah um okay so this is an exclusive world premiere okay let's turn it on Go. Oh, kittens. Are you giving it to the kitten? Yeah, kitten, oh. do you want to play? Oh, Are you kitten. able to play? He's like, is there treats involved? <laughs> no, there's no treats oh, involved. Oh, kitten. You always make it very hard because he likes to sit on my my um, controller pillow. <laughs> controller they pillow. They all like, they're like, ooh, the controller pillow, pillow's out. And then I yeah, have it's nowhere like, oh, to it's so comfy. put my controller. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. So this build is from two days ago. Okay. Yep. Load it up and go down. So, oh, nice. let's see. Ninjish Guy Jr. Nice. So I guess this follows uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World and Ninjish Guy Perilous Island. Mm-hmm. Is it his son? Is it his apprentice? Mm-hmm. Is it somebody unrelated to him that stole his outfit and mm-hmm. called himself Junior? Maybe, maybe. We well, we won't know right now till uh, till. Um, VHZC uh, releases some more releases some more information Lore? about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. More uh, background. Okay. So go for it. Sid wants to get into the secret folder. <laughs> no, Sid. So we've got the familiar countdown. Nice. That does stop on the title screens. And we've got the levels. Tanya knows how to play it already. Well, oh, sorry kittens on the keyboard. No, no kittens. Oh no, what did you do? There we go. 
The original ninja guy retired? I wouldn't blame him after all he's been through. Yeah, there oh, we go. I don't go. know how to do this. We need an exclusive world premiere. Psst. No. Kittens. Very naughty. I'm going to have to hold you there. It's getting do? into everything. What do I do? I'm, st what do I'm you stuck do? on this already. What do else I go is down? There? No! <laughs> Move around. What, uh, oh. what, what options are there? What options are there on the screen? Just Stop. lay down. Lay down. Look at all the things on the screen. Yes. See what, uh, oh, make it over to the right hand side. Go down. What's down there? What can you see? A button. What did it do? Oh, it keeps there going up. There you go. Ah. There you go. That was sneaky. Oh, I have to. <laughs> it's a timing one. Don't like timing ones. <laughs> it keeps falling down. Oh, just made it under. Uh, hi, you're back on the you're back on the pillow. Polygox thinks it's an elf impersonating a ninja. Oh, okay. Yeah, multiple jumps for that one. It's very clever. Uh, Vladimir's getting uh, too clever. More and more clever with his too uh, clever with his puzzles and interactions with things. I, I love it. It's so creative. Mm -hmm. His uh, absolute master of twenty six hundred platformers. Oh, that's one way to do it. Oh. <laughs> hey, leave Bernie alone. No. Sorry. Bad cat. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Atari. That ah! one's not timed, I don't think. So you don't have to rush. Atari. Cat. That sign cats. is very expensive. The cats are on the loose and they must be stopped. They are. <laughs> oh, the cats are on the loose. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That actually makes Atari think that there's treats or something and stops him from doing it. He jumped down after he heard that. Ah. It might be more effective in more than one way. Thank you, Gamma Dev. If you get the cat. Ooh, that's oh. good lightning. It's like blue and orange. Really good colors on that. Ooh, just. And the, uh usual suspects in uh mm -hmm. platformer games the lightning yeah the little fires coming up the fists the flaming slamming down skulls, flaming skulls, oh, flaming full skulls. screen oh, uh pincers <laughs> multi-level uh puzzly things to do to get by reused in the same screen I wonder if this is a linear game. So far, it is very linear. There's mm -hmm. no backtracking. There could be backtracking, though. Could be. But given there's room, like numbered rooms. Yeah. We'll have to see. Well, this one's quite a pattern. Oh, oh no, it's not that. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! What That's was that? That's unexpected. It took you across, but at not the time you and wanted to go across. Because you ran into the thing. The spinning, and he's so good at making 3D objects. Oof, that was close. Nice. Ooh, and it comes up there. Very dangerous screen. Ooh. I thought he stated no backtracking. Oh, maybe there isn't oh, any. Okay, no backtracking on this one. It doesn't seem like one that has backtracking. Yeah. Gonna have to put Bernie in one of those plastic boxes used to display Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to protect Bernie I at know, all costs. Oh, I know. And then we put him back. And look, they're both looking at him. Both of them. As you as you put him back. Keep your eyes off of Bernie. You naughty little cat. Oh, that tail is. Oh, he's looking at him again. Are you doing calculations? Stop looking at Bernie. No. Oh. I'll pet so you. Be a good close. Kitty. It's so tight. <laughs> Like in between those. Oh, oh, he's going for Bernie. No. No. This little bad cat. No. Oh. I put Bernie in one of those plastic cases that requires some intricate method to unlock. <laughs> like they have to keep giving octopuses in captivity from keeping to get getting bored. Yep. Ooh, that's tough. You have to be. Kitten, you're not helping. Perfect. Kitten, right? you're not helping. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's a bit more than, like, you have a couple pixels. Oh, it's so hard. How wide is that guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. Okay. 
And the lightning doesn't quite take up the whole eight pixels, I don't think. I think the numbers between Ooh. the screens are unnecessary. Well, it gives you a bit of a break. It gives you a, a pause. Oh, that's Whoa. a big fist. Oh, that's a... That's, that's going to squish you. <laughs> You're so tiny, it's so big. Oof. That's why he's junior. Yeah, he's You don't realize he's junior until you see him in context of uh, the world around Because you can pause on that screen, right? And the number counts down. So if you're going for a speed run, it might be... I like the pinball sounds when it's going around. Oh, oh no! Oh, you're dead. Oh, good save. <laughs> oh, that looks like something that's going to go back down. I would wait it out a bit. No? No, it's done. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. There's no safe safe spot. No, you just gotta run. Run as soon as you can. Run away from the boulder, Indy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kitten, you're so It gives cute. a feeling of progress, too. Yes, yeah. it does. I don't mind it. And it's pretty quick. Oh, oh. <gasps> Whoa, what? Oh, wow. Nice um, display. Ah! Oh, into the void. <laughs> no. Nice unfurling of the, uh, of the dangers from those boxes. That's really cool. Uh-oh. Oh, it paused you. Did it do that first, first time? I don't time? remember. He's distracting me so much. I'm trying to do precise things. I tried to give, pull him over here, but he just wouldn't have it. Oof. He's, 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 he loves the uh, controller pillow. <laughs> Ooh, those are cute. They go sideways. It's amazing. What VHC has done with pseudo 3D graphics you see things from the side you see them spinning around so so clever <laughs> that looks like just right over yeah even that had a spinning rotor on the bottom i love it so good that is so good evil marshmallows that's correct they're, they're from uh they're the homestar runner evil marshmallows oh Oh, smashed that, your head. That was not, good, not a good way to die. No. You can duck? Yes, I That's can. That's the first time you've ducked. Oh, he's, can he slide? Oh, maybe. Are you going to jump over it? Or are you going to... Oh, okay. Oof. Okay. Oof. Can he slide? Try sliding if there's a spot to slide. Spideys. You can jump over it. No. Try sliding. Slide. Try sliding to the right. I'm not doing what I want you to do. There, I just did it. Okay. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. Do I need to do it again? <laughs> no. What? What happens? No, it makes it bigger at the top so you can get across. Oh. oh okay. How do you get up there? Hmm? Or I think it maybe cuts off the spider. I don't know. Oh, that's it's cutting off the the spider web. Almost. It's not. I guess it's kind of a boss. Nice. Oh, nice. Can. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. I like the font. Oh, the score font. Yeah, it's a pretty good font. The five's a bit. It's like the fruit marshmallows now. <laughs> <laughs> All the colors, yep. Yeah. We've got uh, grape. We've got mm, cherry. We've got two kinds. We've got blueberry or blue, I guess. Ah, timed poorly. I don't know if anybody in the U.S. knows that most other countries don't have... Oh, did you die? Game over. Did you die? I died. Oh. I got smooshed. Oh. Smooshed well, by I thought marshmallow. you have infinite lives. Apparently not. Oh. Um, other countries don't have colorful candy like you do, because 
the colors are banned. Oh, yes, yeah. Like if you buy candy in Britain, it's or not like cereal, nearly so bright. Yeah. It's very dull. Yeah. We get most of the colors here. They haven't banned all of them here. <laughs> Some of them we don't get here. How dare they? How dare they steal our color <laughs> candy? That's right. Wait, what? Says Crunchy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go look up, uh, I don't know what you'd look oh, up. Oh, it's all the crazy, it's all the crazy, um... Red 22! Dye, dye <laughs> yeah. colors, yeah. Yellow six. Red dye number five or whatever, That's exactly, right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're safe there. Yeah, you're safe in a bunch oh, of I didn't think, I, I thought you weren't safe there, I kept panicking. Yeah, you're panic. a panic cat. I am a panic. <laughs> and yet the cats are so calm now. Seems that the green oh the green blocks are lives. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I guess Skittles would have a lot would would be a lot more boring. <laughs> yeah. Seems that green blocks are lives. Yes. Oh at the bottom! Ah I wasn't even paying attention to those. Carl G, and you just have to be surprised at the flavor? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're all shades of gray. To be honest, they don't always line up with what you... Now I want Skittles. Why did you mention Skittles? Oh, no. Ugh. They mentioned Skittles. Someone I, mentioned... You mentioned Skittles. I didn't mention... What are you talking about? I didn't say Skittles. I didn't mention Skittles. I just want Skittles. <laughs> you just want Skittles in yeah. general. Uh, I shouldn't have gone for it. You can't do two at once. Yeah, Esther Mira says the green blocks represent your lives. I thought it was only time-based, too. Yeah, no, you do have lives as well. Okay, well, that's good. I guess you don't have infinite... Some fa yeah. some of his games, you have infinite lives, and it's just based on time alone. This one does have lives. Yeah. And it's uh, a good way to represent them, because you can have tons and tons of lives. Um, they're just represented with uh, playfield. Oh, where am I safe? Safe on the second block, right? PVG says Skittles, the poor man's M&M's. No, 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 no. M&M's are chocolate. Different. Oh my god, I did the same thing as you. Yeah. M&M's chocolate. Skittles are just yeah. chewy. Smarties are the poor man's M&M's, as far uh, as I'm concerned. They don't know what Smarties are. Well, the the the, the <laughs> Canadian round tree Smarties. Smarties, whatever they are, they're like little chocolate. Which don't have a name in the U.S. Yeah, they that's just don't really exist. weird. That's really weird. I know your your Smarties are our rockets. Yes. Which is a different thing. They're like powdery little. Things. Oh, oh my god. Go bit at a time. We know what Smarties are, says Carl G. <laughs> the Canadian Smarties? I don't know. Uh I mean the British know what Smarties are. They have yes. Smarties. I'm talking about Canadian Smarties. Well, Canadian or British Smarties. Not the powder things. No. No. Anyway. Yeah. We've been talking a lot about candy lately. Well, no that reason is. for that, eh? <laughs> Oh, I didn't know your Smarties were different. Yes. Yeah, they are different. Yeah, we yeah. are British adjacent. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do get good Cadbury chocolate. Yeah, it's okay. I like Cadbury's chocolate. Well, it's not very vegan for you, but... Uh, no. I've always been a fan. Uh, it, it was... I, I mean, I've had it. It's yeah. okay. Don't forget, M&M's can be peanut, peanut butter, mint, toffee, almond, and others. Yeah, we don't seem to... I, I haven't been able to find the diversity of M&M's that you get down in the U.S. No, we get the peanut ones. We get That's peanut, sure. chocolate, peanut butter. I think I've seen the caramel. But there's also, like, mint and other flavors that are kind of hard oh to come God. by up here. Have to jump over these. Pseudographics, I had to cut a lot of chocolate-based sweets. I know it's sadness. Oh. Oh, Carl G., I like the cream eggs. I oh. like the newer cream eggs, which aren't as thick chocolate as the old ones were, where you would like oh. break your jaw trying to bite into those they older were very cream thick. eggs. They were very thick, but I do like a cream egg. They're very odd candy when you think about it. They're very sweet in the middle. I could never really get into them too much. I like I like how so you can get sweet. you can get the little ones. Like you can get that little ones now. That would be now. better. Yeah, that's I a like bit those more. Oh, see, now, now now, we're talking about Easter candy. We've completely skipped over Halloween. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> they, don't have, they only have the candy e mood. Easter I think cream I have a, eggs at uh, I have a very Easter mild days. headache. Oh, no. Very mild. It's fine. Um, but when I have a headache, I always want sugar. Always. Me too. I always want glucose and, and it sugar. Doesn't, and I don't think it helps. Yeah. It makes it worse. Oh, no, I think it helps. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Especially chocolate. I don't know if I press it once more. I was wanting you to yeah. do this, but you're off. No, it doesn't do anything. Try the M&M store. Three stories of all M&Ms you could ever want and need. Yes. Don't know if there are any in Canada. Maybe there's one in Toronto, but they're definitely in all the big cities. I love the animation of the, the jumping. Ooh. 
Our new addiction is Trader Joe's dark chocolate up? peanut butter cups. We have bought those before. Oh my yep. god. Is this Frozen. Is this where you died? Yeah. I think it did. Is this the one? Yeah, I think this is the one. I didn't get past. <gasps> Damn it. Um, dark chocolate Mars bar. Ooh, I like a peppermint patty too, Caffeine Caffe <laughs> Man. Not a lot of people like the um, mint, like fondant Ooh, type I things. Fondant. I love me a junior mint, a peppermint patty, an after Damn eight. It. <laughs> yeah, after eight, yeah. I, I love everything everything with the mint fondant. That's a, no, I, do I know you have to do it again. Poor thing. It's not that bad, actually. No, you just have to not die. There yeah, go. last time I slid, but I hid the thing and hit yeah. the thing at the top. What? Apparently, there's an M and M store at the duty free in the Vancouver airport. Oh, what? Is it our Vancouver airport or like Vancouver Washington airport? Do they have? Do those? Do they have? Do they an have airport? an airport? <laughs> oh, what did that just do? It opened the door. York peppermint patties rule says uh, random, random. Just rando. He just said he said we're just rando. Rando. Okay. Okay. What do I do here? <laughs> oh no. What do I do? I, need a, uh, I think you have to land yes. on this guy's head. Yeah, I do like I do like a junior mint. Do like a junior mint. Oh, okay. There you go. Ooh, that was pretty. Whew. Okay, are you going after cats everywhere today? He's going after the sign. He's knocked over the sign. What are you doing? Why are you why do you keep knocking over the lynx sign? What issue does he have with the lynx? He says it's competition. <laughs> Cat competition. He's like, there's only room for two cats in here. Hey, oh, this BHNC! Is so this is so slow. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow. I have to. I have to stop there. Oh no! Oh, You're I'll do it dead. again. Do it <laughs> Starting over. Yeah. Hey, BHNC! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. Bad cat. We're talking. We're playing your wonderful game and talking about candy. So. I am amazed that you are able to come up with even more creative puzzles. Yes. And and mechanics for yep, the 2600. Yep. They're so good. Like this is a new one. Cats, cats. The cats are on the loose and they must be <laughs> They are. <laughs> You're bad being cats. So bad. You're being so bad. Cats are on the loose. <laughs> this guy he seems a little a little tired today. He oh, oh catnip did him in. Um, a little secret for future betting. Um, um, he got his what is it? Oh. Feline H I H I V. Yeah, he got booster his shot. shot. So that might so be slowing might, him he down. He might be a little slower today. Hind hind left leg. He seems very cuddly all of a sudden. Mm. Yeah. The missing link sign. <laughs> Maybe Atari's going after the word Atari on the website. Oh, maybe. that could be it. Maybe he wants to get one of those, like, 80s... He wants to turn it into one of those, like, 80s wrapper <laughs> necklaces, and he'll just hang it around his neck. That's right. Like My name's Atari. Yeah. Want we'll get it encrusted in jewels. It would be very cute. Oh, cute kitten. I was going to do it, but it didn't look like he was doing something bad. Oh, uh, well, Every he's time. always doing something bad, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, go for it anyway. <laughs> Avatari, yeah. Give him give him a little um, clock around his neck. <laughs> he's looking at me like, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Crazy woman. Yeah. I found this really hard. It is. Getting getting the, the timing the, and the, the precision. Preci pre precise space between the... Uh, Lightnings. That was close. It's a little bit of time in that one, but not much. <laughs> nope. Damn it, why am I doing stupid things? There you go. Hit the button, hit the button, hit the oh, button. Right. Don't forget the button. Might be zapped. Uh. The HSC, I was concerned that the lightning room was too hard, but apparently is not. It was hard. It took me more than a few it's, tries yeah, to get past yeah. it, so it is a hard one. I love the different notes. Ding, ding, ding. 
They're all so creative. Yeah. Like uh, unboxing the uh, uh, the danger in that one's good. Oh, why no. did I do? Jump with them. That's what I figured. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? Yeah. Then jump across. Not there. <laughs> but you know, if you if you go across at the same time, they do. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well. I'm gonna do my way. Okay, you do it your I've way. I've lost a life now. <laughs> The time is money, the spinner is a coin. Damn it. Ah. That is more dangerous though, but. Pwah, two lives? No, no, this is worse than last time. Mm. Avoid the evil marshmallows, yes. Yes, they are evil. They're very evil marshmallows. And avoid getting brained by this thing. Are you fighting your brother? Please don't do that in my lap. <laughs> oh, he's, fight he's getting your hair? No, he's going after his tail. Oh, naughty. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. I'm doing worse. Why, why, why am I doing worse? Getting too fast. You can jump faster than the spider's going up. And that's the mistake I made. Calm down, little kitten. <laughs> Tell me to calm down. You too, both of you. Yes, Bye -bye, boss ish. Yes. Boss ish. Boss ish. I'd say mid boss. Like maybe. a mid boss, yeah. yeah. This is where I didn't pass last time. Or did I? No, you did. Okay. Oh, yeah. It looks harder than it is. It's just in the timing, right? Yeah. This... No, I got this one. You just had to jump him, right? Yeah, you just have to fall on his head, which is not too bad. But he does move. And if you look at the spring, it's very subtle, but I... Is it his arms, or I think it curves up? Mm, he curves up. Cute. Kidding. I don't want any trouble. He's like, that's a shame, because I really want trouble. <laughs> This is where I died. Now what's safe? Okay, I can see a safe spot there. There's a safe. You're safe on the on the, the bottom. Cord. Oh, yeah. Bottom of this. Or the rope, I should say. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it. Is there a safe? Oh, it's you can so just go hard. up. Go up. No, you go so slow. That's the problem. Do you? Yeah. Where is it? The the okay, the, oh, the orange. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can make it, but it's, I don't, I think the timing is so you can't make it. Whew. Okay, next one. Oh, this is boss. Ah! Oh, God. One, two, three, four. It's constant. I have to jump. jump. It. Okay, of course. yeah, of course. Okay, not too bad. Okay, I'm getting used to it. There's another second boss-ish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this oh. is boss. This is a boss. <laughs> Still takes a lot of hits. Oof. One life left. It's wonderful. I love trying to kill a boss on one life left. It's my favorite pastime. Yay! Oh. You got him. <sighs> you can't jump off a rope. You have to fall off a rope. Oh, my God. Should I go way up? No, can't. There we go. Oh, another level. Okay. 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 I gotta watch and not just run into things. Go all the way? Yep. Now what do I do, though? You have to run right off the end. No. no. What do you do? There's a brief moment where you can jump. Ooh, it's gonna be so tight. Now. Uh, what do you do? do I have to. S no! <laughs> One more. I'm not gonna die stupidly. <laughs> Look closely well, at that screen. Okay. We're gonna be playing all night then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's fun. I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I just need more lives when I get to that screen. 
Ah, more. Getting better. Getting better. I forgot you can slide. It's not really used much in this. Uh, I bet there's screens there's I could use it, and I haven't used to. it. Like where it'd be helpful to slide, but mm. I just haven't bothered. Level 19 reached. Yep. Get in there. Uh. Oh! When there's lots of stuff on the screen, but it's not all going at once, mm. very deceptive. Those pincers. Very pincy. Why? Every time. Why, why, why? It's like, oh, time to go. You are safe in that top one, too, which I always think that it's going to come right for you. Yeah. Does seem like that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, he's wasting a life there. Ugh. This one's hard. This one is very hard. Be really precise in your stopping. Oh, he's so cute. Very, very cute. I wonder if I can jump up there from there. Didn't quite make it. Level 10. I remember to do that this time. Run! <laughs> that one you have a bit of time. Du, 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 you're used du. to it now. You're flying, yeah. flying. Yeah, getting there. This Evil. one, this one's hard. I did it without dying, so. Oh, that works too. I I do it a different way than you, but. I jumped with them, I think. Yeah. I timed it's it. Good with there's them. two different ways. But to I was do very it. slow. <laughs> oh. That's perfect. That's what. Good I job. Meant. Good job. <laughs> Spidey time. Spidey boss. One more. Good job. Spider defeated. Into the pit with you, spider. Micah. It's as if Sid did it himself. a video the other day mm -hmm. actually we ran across a video on youtube and it was titled um what was it titled the, the 10 most painful ailments oh <laughs> <laughs> and we're like oh okay yeah let's find out about the most 10 most painful ailments um and i can't remember which number it was i don't think it's relevant um but one of them I have. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. You'd never I'm, heard of it before. And I'd never heard of it. Um, like the name of it. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't able to properly diagnose myself before that. I mean, I had something to make it better. But, yeah. Um, didn't realize what exactly it was. Didn't realize what it was. Which is very funny when you very watch something funny. on like YouTube and you're like, hey, that's I me. Have that thing. <laughs> um, it is extremely painful. Yeah. I wouldn't think it would make the top 10, that's no. for sure. Uh, it feels like you're having a heart attack. 
That's what they described it as, because I've never had a heart attack, so I don't know what that feels like. Sure, Good it's job. not fun. Yay, you got the boss! Woo! Luckily, a lot more lives this time. Oof, yeah. Luckily, it doesn't happen to me all the time. So. No. This is the level I died on? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I gotta watch what's going on here. It comes from the bottom. That comes from the bottom. run across if you if you time it perfectly from the third one you might be able to run across oh really no fast uh, no no am i in the wrong one i think you need to be in the third one and run yes. past the second yes. and the last that's, one that's what it is yeah there right there too late oh Okay, you just timed it. Okay. I was wrong. You were wrong! I thought it was far worse than that. Oh, I bet you have to jump. Yeah, over it. Yeah. <sighs> Try to slide when the barrier is going left and up. Yeah, mm. I figured it out. Ooh, oh, there's extra heart. life. Get the life. Okay. Can you get up there? <laughs> okay, wasted a life. <laughs> Getting the life. I guess I Maybe can. you get it from another screen? Well, it doesn't disappear. No. So you can go back. Can you run and jump? I can't get up that high. Mm. What? Sneaky. Maybe you crawl through the wall on the other side or something? <sighs> Bet there's a, uh, there's a secret somewhere. There is. Vladimir! Oh! Maybe, maybe you could get there from the last screen? Oh, I can't get back now. No. What anyway, was the last screen? The do -do 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 -do, like the the uh, thing that you I snuck past. I can't remember past. what's at the top. I don't know. <laughs> well, go to the next screen. Maybe mm. you can go back. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I have to go that way yeah. from here. I don't know. I have to follow these guys. You you enter in the previous screen. Oh, okay. Oh damn it! So you have to know about it first. Yeah. I can go through here. Ah, let me through. <laughs> I want back. Oh! <laughs> I love it. Oh, I swear that was in one of his other games. Yeah. I can't remember which one. That it just shot you just off the shot screen. You to the side. So good. Ah, <laughs> continue on flying. That's awesome. Okay. That. Oof. Oof. Oh, there's no rest. You have to go. Wait. Run. Okay. Go. Wait. Go. Wait. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. All in the time. Just have to figure it out. End of demo! Yay, thank you, BH Setsy! Awesome, awesome oh, so game! Good. There you go. Really, really nice. There's so many uh, cool new characters and puzzles. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how you come up with them. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you so much. Yay. Yay. Thank you for using that 2600. Um, so VHC is in the chat. I think it's going to be released soonish. Okay. Um, I didn't find any bugs. Nope. Seemed to be fine. Played Didn't perfectly. Crash it. Yep. Very good. Very Nothing challenging. Nothing weird or unexpected it's happened. Time. It was awesome. Time. Ooh. Ooh. And now the cats. And it's a little harder than Get usual because usually I can make it all the way to the end. Oh, in one uh, go. In one go at yeah. least. But this time I didn't yeah, make it. Pretty challenging. Yeah, it's got some challenging stuff. Yeah. Okay, Excellent it's treat game. time for cats. Thank right. you, Pseudo Graphics. Yes. Soonish Junior. Go back Soonish. and get that heart. Well, that'll be next time. Yeah. I'll have to remember which which level it's on. Okay. Come so on, cat. let's go to the cat. Get in here. And reset that. And let's start up the Puss bedding. Bets. Puss in bets time. Oh, I could release the demo later today or early tomorrow. Mm. Oh great. Um well, it's pretty late at night right now, but I don't think it matters <laughs> for. I don't think it matters for the forums. People run across when they run across it. 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Time to donate my points to other betters. <laughs> is that what the Aww. game is? Okay, it's uh, time to predict who's going to ring the bell the most. Oh. Is it this black and white kitty, Sid, who's had his shot today, so he yep. might be a little slower. Yeah. He's been uh, pretty cuddly. Yeah. Or is it going to be Atari? Atari's... He's been a menace today. Yeah. He's, He's been after everything. Bernie and the, the sign. The sign is still knocked over. Oh, it's still knocked over. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yep. It's trouble. Both of these cats are trouble, though. So right now, we got people got putting their points on Atari 1 Plus and Sid 3 to 4. Ooh, splitting it between the mm, two of them. Interesting, interesting. You still have... A oh, little bit on oh, Sid 1 to 2. A little bit on two. Sid 1 to 2. It's, yeah. a, it's a safe bet. It is a safe bet. Yeah. Sid 5 oh. Plus is uh, an outside, so anybody wants to put on yes. that, just put like 10, just a little bit. Yeah. Or 100. There yeah, you go. There you got go. it covered. Oh, we got it all covered. That's there good. There we go. The last thing you want is for no one to win, so... I'm not seeing the prediction options. I don't know. Sometimes yeah. you don't refresh the screen, reload. I don't know. There should be a purple predict button. Right at the top. Right at the top. That's what somewhere. we see anyway through a browser. Yeah. If you're using a browser, that's where it should be, right at the top. Yeah. A little button. What did says I miss? Predict. Well, we're betting on cats. Miss VHC's brand new awesome game, yes. Platformers. Maybe they like the Taylor Swift song Trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They uh, do. They are Swifties. Both it showed up in weird, different today on my mo on mobile. Yeah. I oh, sometimes I don't, it is a little strange. I wonder if I can look at it on mobile really quick. Mm. Seven seconds? No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. It looks. Different I don't know what it every... looks like in mobile because it's in like the chat. Oh, it's yeah. done now. Anyway, sorry. We'll have to see if we can provide some guidance on that. Like, they can move it at any time too. Well, we'll look at the mobile yeah. see if we can figure it out. Oh, you're okay. on PC. Okay, that is strange. That is very strange. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready, cats? Are you ready? Here's the bell. You ready with the treats? Let me get the uh, counter up. Oh, Vitoko said prediction was hidden by another notification I had to discard. Oh, well, if you've got so it might have been hi hidden by something. Gotta I don't know. close it all down. Usually a white mm. box day was purple. Yeah. We get purple. We in get ours. purple in ours. Yeah. Okay, cats. Are, are you, you ready? ready? Are you hungry? Are you hungies? Are you hungies? Okay. Go! And stunned. <laughs> oh, oh Atari's, Atari's off to the races with one. He's oh, out of the Sid. gate. Sid's right behind him. They're chewing. Usually Sid takes a little bit on the first one. Hey, thank you for thank subbing, you, D -train. D -train. Oh, they're both really slow on the first one. They speed oh, up. Atari got the second. Was. Atari. Was it? Yep. Oh, then Sid. they said. Okay. Atari had his paw down yeah. on it. And they're both back to the bell. So, oh, oh, Sid, Sid got Sid? that one. Tari's right. close behind. It's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, Sid's back already. Oh, and he's oh, rung it Sid. twice. That only counts as one. Tari's close behind. It's it's an it's even race even right race, now. 4-4. Four, yeah. four. It may not get uh, big numbers here. That was oh, Atari. Oh, that's Atari. Sid's Sid. close behind. Oh, it's really even today. Very even today. Really. Atari's eating fast. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, they're oh, vying that's for Atari. it. It's Atari. And that's Sid. Sid's right behind. Wow. He doesn't take any time. Once he's once the bell's cleared, he's on it. Oh, Sid pawed for it. He soft didn't pop. get it. He's soft pawing it. Atari's going for it. Oh, that was Atari that again. That was Atari. Wow. Could hear those bells today. And Sid. Sid got it a little bit later. He's back at the bell. Oh, he's well ahead if he can get this. That oh, was that's a good one. He's got a bit of a lead. Oh, oh that was Sid oh, on the other bell. Sid used a close bell. Good yeah, tactic, Sid. Smart tactic. Yeah, if you separate yourself, you have Atari. a bell to yourself. Oh, Sid's back at the same pink bell. Sid! It is next. Point is the neck game. And neck. Is it going to be Atari? Oh. <gasps> He tried it. He Atari! got it. Atari wins. Atari oh, wins. Oh, I won. Wow. My goodness. It's been a long time since Atari brought it home. Wow. But Atari wins. Good job, Atari. Woo, finally, it says nostalgic. <laughs> Has somebody been betting on Atari for a while? Uh, I'm happy for Atari. Even yes. if I didn't win, I'm happy for Atari. I know he hasn't won Good won. kitty. Good kitty. He did a good job today. He's He was very quick at eating today. Yeah. I think that was his winning tactic. He was very accurate with the bell, very quick at eating. And Sid's a bit slow.
slow. I'm not sure I, if he's feeling the effects of his vaccine. He wasn't. He was. Or he wasn't he's a fast. little high from the catnip. So. He was tiny bit slower Aww. than usual. Good job, Undercat. Undercat. Good job, Undercat. So let's see who uh, who had faith in Atari oh, here. Oh, look at that. Let's see. And the big winner is. Oh, oh, get out of here. <laughs> Is nostalgic. Yay, nostalgic two other people and two others. Well. Thank you for betting on the great cat. With uh, a ratio of almost three to one. Nice. That's good Very odds. Nice. Could be the shots in the and catnip. catnip. Yeah. Yeah. He did have something unusual happen today. Yes, he so did. That he is did. a bit different. Yeah. Um, so we're going to now move on to the Atari 7800. <laughs> I usually don't like to mix them, but. Today, we uh, needed to mix them. So let's go to the 7800. D-Train says, I've been watching this show for years and I've never seen Atari win before. It's, it's He's the unusual. undercat usually, yeah. It was very neck and neck. Uh, Sid seemed a little out of sorts today, I have to say. Not quite so fast at chasing down the treats. and Yeah, you're a little out of sorts, aren't you? So actually, today... Mm -hmm. Very unusual. We're going to be playing a paddle game on the 7800, okay. which we don't see very often. Not many people um, program for the paddle. Um, it wasn't really used in any um, games that were released, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Classic releases? Am I incorrect here? Um, well, that doesn't. Oh no, that's normal. Okay. So it is called Side Bounce, and it mm -hmm. is made by Too Quick Capri, mm -hmm. Aaron Sigel, Sigel, S I G L, Sigel, Sigel. Not sure. S I G L. Oh, I don't know. Um, so this uh, this build is from today. Nice. You saw that we we're going to be playing it and gave mm -hmm. us an updated version. Nice. Um, the first posted September 26. It's a 17K game. And it's his first Atari 7800 nice. game. I couldn't find any instance of any other games. Hmm, so my first 7800 game should be a paddle oh, one. Yeah, there you go. That's right. <laughs> Somehow Atari managed not to make a breakout game for 7800. Yeah, yeah. no uh, paddle games. Yeah, so, yeah, that is surprising. Uh, originally, I, I'm pretty sure there's some new some, ones. Some new ones that I played. Hi. Um, oh, okay, so let's load it up. Are you out of sorts? Side bounce. So, let's switch over to the paddles. There we go. Super breakout? Side. Question mark. <laughs> Um, so, Side Bounce is a Pong clone that I built to learn the basics of an 8700 basic. I've uh, started a few projects in the past, but always bounced off of them <laughs> before making any <laughs> real progress. So I started with a smaller project I could build over a few weeks of spare time. Nice. The project is mostly done, but I would like to get some feedback from others, mainly game uh, play balance and controls. I've tested this game with real 7800 and CX30 paddles, but my paddle controllers are on the funky side. They usually are. Mm -hmm. Usually I have to take them apart and spray them and grease them up and stuff. Uh, I also uh, will post the GitHub repository for those who want to learn, uh, look, criticize. Also welcome any feedback in my code. This will be my first public release outside of school. Oh, nice. So he's made some games in school. Very nice. Um, game plan objective. Try to score 10 points against a friend or take up the computer for some one player action. Mm -hmm. Use the paddle control the move uh, controller to move the button to select players in the title screen and return to the title screen after game over. So I will give you one. Um, I I do really the like the title screen. Yeah. Really nice well. stylized side bounce. <laughs> side bounce. Yeah. So Two? one player. Just one. Yep. So you can warm up the paddle. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh. It's kicking your ass. Uh, it's... Remember, it's not at the extent. I know. You have I keep to find thinking where it's it a driving is. controller. No, it's not a driving controller. There you go. I don't know if the computer is beatable. I played it for a very tiny bit when setting up. The computer goes exactly to the ball. 
I don't know if you have to do like a really fast bounce. Probably because Tremel didn't have any paddles left in the inventory <laughs> or the molds to make new ones. Mm, maybe. Um, so on to October 1st, uh, they added an attract mode to the game. After 20 seconds on the title screen, the game starts a computer versus computer match. Also added a 20 second timer to Sorry. reboot the game Sorry. over screen if left idle. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, oh, you got a point. Okay, you can score on the computer. That's good to know. How? It seems to always go exactly for it. I think you have to go fast. Seeing an Intellivision-esque font in Atari console is messing with my head. Well, the thing with the Atari is you can make your own fonts. You don't have to use the built-in ones. If Is there built-in fonts on the 7800? Or do you have to... To find them yourself. Oof. Lucky. Tanya looks a bit awkward holding the paddle perfectly parallel to the surface of the earth versus comfortably on the angle or the over the center of the one's lap just saying you do you. Yeah I <laughs> hold mine like this. I don't know how other people hold theirs. Mine's always to the side with the button upward. I hold it in my left and use it in my right. Obviously, if you're right or left-handed, you'll be doing it differently. But I've always held mine sideways. Sideways? Yeah. Probably makes more sense. Tanya's like I holding don't... it like she's in a, a commercial for the for the system, <laughs> like this. I with my pinky up, like I'm drinking tea. Uh, tea it, with the queen. Like the person's never used one before. <laughs> Forty-five degree double down. I do like the extra yeah, chrome usually. on the display. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, flourish. It is nice. It yeah. is nice. Yeah, I agree. High, highly scientific study to see if warming up the paddle reduces the jitteriness of the movement. Yeah, 100%. It does. It gets the um, grease, I guess, distributed and warmed up a bit. So it's not uh, sticky. Yeah, I guess so. Double down says, hold in my left. Oh, I already said that. Um... No built-in font on the 7800, so it's just like the 2600. Just no built-in anything. <laughs> nothing. You get nothing. Oh, gosh. Good day, sir. <laughs> good day. I said good day. <laughs> I said good day. good day. Oh, so you've got one point and one point only on them. Yeah, it's terrible. The computer is hard. I'm I'm very I'm not great with the paddle as you, you as James has been making fun of my paddle technique here. Um <laughs> You're making me laugh now. Well, the nine's interesting. There's a little, little stripe in it. <laughs> uh, I'll try it sideways. Okay, I'll, nope, I'll do it your turn. way. Two, Two player. player. Yep. You can't move beforehand, Ugh. which I think would be a big improvement, is to be able to move before you. Uh... Yeah, just so you can. Figure out where your paddle is. Yes, so you can position the paddle. So that is a suggestion for the developer. Yeah, you hit it on the side to get it going. Uh... Yeah, you have to smack it. Oh. And the loser has to uh, oh, has to hit it first. Oh. I don't know if that's fair. Do you think that's fair? I think so. I think it is because the loser can then hit it whatever way they want. I guess so. So if the winner gets first um, touch on it, they can do, do a make it really hard. It's kind of like getting first serve. I yeah, don't know. loser gets first serve. Winner gets first serve, wow. but in a way. There, smacked it with the corner. Oh, I hit it. Hmm. Game audio is out of sync. Okay, that's because. Can't stop the game. Oh no? No. What? Oh, try and hit it perfectly on. Okay. Then I can. Oh. <laughs> then I can adjust the sound. It's because we switched consoles and had some frame drops because he doesn't like frame drops. Blah. Nobody likes frame drops. Oh, I'm these, trying to move it. These these 
hardware video encoders that expect absolutely perfect video coming to them at all times, where they freak out, is uh, a little bit annoying. Oh, I was right on it. But I will fix it and after this game. Three more points. Four more. Minimum three points. Oh, slowed it down. The uh, spin on the ball is really cool. Yeah, I, I of the ball. really like that. That's a nice addition to Pong. And it does change depending on who hit it last. Because normally it's, it's a ball. This one is a ball at points, but then it deforms. Like if you look at it. Kitten. See, I always have to deal with cat. Stinky cat butts. Cat, get off me. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, cat. Caterference. Caterference. I claim caterference. Okay, let me... Uh, adjust the sound. Adjust the sound. Thank you for letting me know. Mm. Or train the cats. Okay, mm. let me try and play... Yeah, train the cats okay. to play, maybe? I will deal with this issue. Okay, see if I can do anything against the computer. Tanny was able to score at least one point, so there is a way. Don't know what it is. Maybe if I can do it fast? No, he's just as fast. That won't help. Ooh, he just caught it on the edge. Maybe he wants to catch it on the edge. No idea how she did, she did it. Oh, there you go. So it does have to be quite an angle. A fast angle, too. Though. That was an angle, but not fast. I catch you right on the edge, but sometimes it just slows it down. There's a fast one. Ha ha! That's how you get it. Not fast enough. That's fast. Oh yeah. There we go. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Gets me too. Is the fan on? Yep. Oh. Atrocious. <laughs> Atrocious cats. Oh, candy's out. Just Skittles. Well, I just, I just ah. didn't want to bring too much. We need our red dye yeah, but number you brought eight. Two Skittles. Yeah, it's for you as well. No variety. Where's the other candies? It's hmm. up there upstairs. More later. Look at my score. Mmm, you're gonna beat the computer. Uh, I wouldn't say that. It's pretty good. You have to get it at an angle and, and fast. fast. Yeah. Ugh, not like that. Uh, maybe no. It has to be faster than that. Ugh. <laughs> Can you read out that last comment? Mm -hmm. Out loud. <laughs> To be fair, each of you must hold a cat during gameplay, says so Satoko. Um, uh, Gamma Death says, I would love to see a paddle game like this have some sort of charge timing mechanic to switch up the force of your hit. Like a golf game, but you have to release the charged hit just as the ball hits your paddle, or else you'll whiff it. <laughs> there is a game like that. Is there? It's called Wind Jammers for the Neo Geo. Uh -huh. It is awesome. It's Pong to the nth degree. Mm. And if nobody makes it by the time I try and make it, mm. I will make it mm. for the 2600. It is so awesome. Mm. Um, I remember Kev having it. And it is it is exactly that. You have Pong, but you can charge up your paddle. And it's completely doable on the 2600. Any system. Because it's basically Pong, and you can represent it as Pong if you want. But I mean, on on the um, on the game, it was represented like beach frisbee almost. Um, beach frisbee, okay. Yeah. Cat, you're, you're coming back for trouble. Why are you so fascinated with that? <laughs> no. It says links. It says my name on it. <laughs> I have to destroy it. 
And then BBG says, ah. but no paddles on the Neo Geo, joystick only. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it was controlled by paddles, though. It wasn't a paddle game. You, you moved around in um, mm. 2D. It wasn't it's, a um, single dimension game. 7800 Cafe Man 2D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Despite what it looks like. <laughs> it is Pong. This almost could be on, made on the 2600, but... Nostalgic asks, didn't Windjammers get a sequel recently? Did it? Within the last few years. Oh, did it? Mm. Oh! Cat wants to type. You can't... Oh, this got to get him. No, he's gotten too good. I think he's adapted. <laughs> he's adapting. He's, he's not... actually a very sophisticated AI. Maybe. They put a sophisticated AI into a Pong game. <laughs> you can. You can make the paddle go faster yeah. to... Uh, but Because I can't seem to get him now. It's just... A constant rally. Come on! There's that like, would have got him before. There's like a whole <laughs> warehouse of servers running the AI oh, for this yes. Pong. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Itogo, um says, Can't Now I'm now. thinking about trying another port of my Don't Go game, this time to the 7800. Hmm. Oh. I can't get him anymore. It's learning. Says it is BBG. learning. Yeah. I can't. Like, shots that would have got him before are not getting him now. Mm -hmm. Like, before I was like, oh yeah, that's got him. Now I'm like, no, nothing is. I can't get more points on him. Like, that would have got him. And he gets it now. But since he's so much better, I can't get anything. Cats! Cats! The cats are on the loose and they must be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you. What are you up to? <laughs> What are you up to? Thank you, Nostalgic. He is in the danger zone. <laughs> okay, that would have got him. Look! Every time now. Oh, I got him! Oh, my God. Oh, down! Bernie did go down! I didn't even see Bernie oh, go down. Oh, wow. You got Bernie down? Oh, now I know how to get him. I know how to get him now. It's very hard. Bernie down! Okay. Down goes Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> down goes Bernie. <laughs> When, after he hits the ball, Kid. he pauses mm. and doesn't move again till the ball is close over to his side. Yeah. So if he's at the top and then and you get a fast ball towards the bottom. Oh, that's you how you win. get him. That's but how you it's get him. almost random. It's pretty hard. <sighs> it's pretty hard. It's hard. Well, way to go, Aaron. Yeah. That's Great game. <laughs> a really good pong it plays game. really well. Yeah. I don't know what else you could add to Pong besides making it something else. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one, one, one suggestion. Mm -hmm. The movement. Just mm -hmm. allow movement beforehand. I love the um, demo screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The nine seems to be uh, displayed incorrectly. You think it's supposed to join up? Mm -hmm. Maybe. It looks fine, but it, it doesn't match the rest of the fonts. Maybe lasers. it's one too wide as well. One can always add lasers. lasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Arkanoid uh, meets Pong. You could uh, you could wear down your other opponent with lasers and slowly destroy parts of their uh, paddle to mm -hmm. make it smaller. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So you could add that. If he wants to take it past Pong, like basic Pong. Mm -hmm. I think uh, enemies flowing, like fully embrace Arkanoid. Like, have the enemies floating around to distract you. Like, if you hit it and there's one there, it could come bouncing back immediately yeah, at you. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, multiple player balls. Player versus player Arkanoid. There you go. Yep. Multiple balls. Mm -hmm. And there could be three balls on the screen. And if one gets past you, there's still two more. And two more could get past you mm -hmm. for extra points for the other person. Like, full, fully go Arkanoid on it. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you could catch it with like Arkanoid mm -hmm. and reposition the ball and press the button to let it go again. That's an Arkanoid. What are the other ones? Uh, you can power ups, yeah. power ups, all the power ups, um, the extended paddle mm -hmm. have a temporarily extended or maybe for a long time. Um, but I don't know where the power ups would come from. I guess they could come from things on the screen that if you hit it last, it goes towards you like little, um, if you had like things on the screen to actually yeah get. little bricks or yeah. something yeah. comes out metal balls why uh missiles yeah if if they want to go that way it does take it past pong yeah 
it's still a pretty good pong game. I do like the little pong. like um, shooting star uh, pong ball too. Yeah, that's a nice flair. It is a nice flair. Okay, so we're on to our last game of the day, uh, which is Stone Age. And uh, this is an updated version. Last time we played this was in March or April, I think. So it's been a little while. I guess we don't use paddles anymore. This little guy is exhausted. <laughs> he is exhausted. He's like, I got beat by oh, Atari. No. He's, he's fast asleep in my arms here. I implemented a version of Pong that involved lightning and fire once. Nice. A cardboard box. That's awesome. So, Stone Age. This is made by Anthony Quinlan, 2600, who I believe is in the chat. Mm. Um, and Constantinos Giamaldis. Uh, Geomaladis, mm -hmm. uh, Tix for graphics, who is a graphics god. It's a 96k game, uh, 2600 also made Badass Fishing Tournament for the 2600, Bomber Hero, Captain Comic, uh, City Sim 7800, ICBM, uh, Stone Age, Street Rod 2600, and Test Drive for the 7800. You can download this right now. Uh, oh, look at that, Stone Age font. Um, okay, so let's, and he's added some options here. You can see the credits. Very nice. Programming, mm. Anthony Quinlan, artist, K. Geomelodis. Special thanks, Mike Sarna, Albert Uruso, AA Community, and ZPH! <laughs> Thank you so much, 2600. And I, and it's also got amateur and pro now. Ooh. So we'll start an amateur mm -hmm. and we'll move to pro. Mm -hmm. So here you go. I will read out things. Yes. Yep. Lovely animations. Beautiful graphics. So you get three. Oh my gosh, the fire's coming already. Remember, don't get too close to him without throwing that. You yeah, I've forgotten. Ah. Uh, so game description. Step back in time during the Stone Age period as Nub. Along with his ball and chain, Mrs. Nub, Ms. Nub, on a chaotic quest to feed the family. During his journey, Ms. Nub demands you not return home till collecting six dinosaur eggs each night. Nub is required to traverse a rocky terrain, uh, equipped with three stone hatches, while dodging molten balls of lava. Ms. Nub will replenish hatches at the cave should Nub need more. Mm -hmm. uh, beware as Mama T-Rex is well aware of Nub's intentions, so she will need to be knocked out to acquire the eggs. Make sure to not leave the eggs too long, as baby dinos will hatch and chase Nub. There's a pesky pterodactyl from the third night wanting to steal <sighs> Nub's stash. Pesty pterodactyl. Yeah, make sure to defend the eggs by either hitting the pterodactyl or by standing guard at the cave's entrance. So, uh, last time we played it was March 8th. Actually, technical last time we played was uh, PRG. PRG. Tanya crashed the game. I don't... Why <laughs> you keep saying that? <laughs> wasn't my she fault. found a bug. <laughs> but then it looks like they fixed it. Yeah. Because she did a very close throw and grab egg thing. Yes. That's what was doing it before. Yeah. And then... I can't remember what happened, but... I think you... Die, even though he's stunned. Something like that. I can't yes. remember. So the updates, uh, updates in June 26, Mama T-Rex laying egg sprite revision. Uh, text changes in the graphics. Uh, graphics for, for Mrs. Caveman. Ooh, which is it? Mrs. or Ms.? Mm, mm. It's different in two places. Uh, feature, Mrs. Caveman has entered the game. Uh, sound, new sounds added. Mama T-Rex hit. A volcano, caveman hit, egg pick up and drop, st pterodactyl steal an egg, whole bunch of new sounds. Pterodactyl hit, pterodactyl ah. hit the floor, baby, a baby egg hatching, baby laughing. Oh, a whole bunch of new ones. I got to turn it up a little bit so that we can hear it. Uh, additional oh, graphics. Too close. Ah, he ate me as I hit him at the same time. Broke it again. He disappeared, but you got eaten. No, but I, I know he ate me and I hit him at the same time. It but was the, it was almost si simultaneous. But then he was stunned. He was it, stunned because I threw the thing. No. And he bit me at the same time. But then he went down and bit you again when and you weren't even there. 
Did he? Yeah. I didn't see the beginning, but I saw the end. I'm very good at breaking things. You apparently are. Yes. Khan is a brilliant artist and exceeded my expectations. Oh, yeah. VHC. I was AFK putting my children to bed. I've said it before, but the sprite work is gorgeous. The dinosaur mm -hmm. is absolutely... Oh, there she is. She's taking them out. <laughs> Took all the eggs. Oh, she's peeking out. I, I lost a life somehow. Well, you got eaten. No. Oh, you mean like an extra life? Oh. No, no. I got eaten once, and I had three lives, and then it went from two to one. Oh, that was the double eat. He ate you twice, that's why. I bet it was that. But it showed two until I brought the egg back. Oh. So something funny did happen there with the lives. I'll have to review the footage. Yep, you'll be okay, well. Play it again. Well, 2600 is watching. <laughs> so you can see if these are bugs or what's going on. Yeah. Uh, June 29th. Ah, yes. So Mrs. Caveman, I, I hadn't really explained what her deal is, but here goes. Basic clear. Ex you can do pro. I sure. stay on amateur. I'd like to. I'd, I just want to see it. There we go. Yeah, the buttons in the menu are a bit weird. They're all over the place. Um, basically, their existence is a two-part scenario. As suggested before, and Tix really likes the idea of having a cave as a safe zone from lava balls. Plan was always to uh, have the safe zone. All, all, all those I would get hesitant because it feels too easy to hide out and wait for eggs. Well, kind of the same story as Bite Down. Tix got back to me with another, hey, have a look at this. She reminds me of my boss. So after some talk, we decided to add her to prevent the player lurking around the safe zone. Soon to be safe zone. Uh, I had to really start crunching and stacking more graphics to make space for her. You will notice she's uh, composed of four sprites chopped in half. Otherwise, we'd only have two. Uh, the fact her primary goal is to send cavemen back to work or she will hit him. It was better to have more frames over two full width sprites. With that said, it answers the question about her being playable, and sadly she is not. You could switch it up so that he's in behind in the cave and she's getting the eggs. There you go. That could be an option. Yeah. Choose your character. I don't know. He's, he said it's not possible. No. Nope. Not right now, anyway. No. As for intermissions, I do have the idea to dual her, uh, dual use her sprites when taking the eggs into the cave after each round, which she does now. She could always send Caveman back out when she's done as well. Oh, 2600 missed it. He'll have to rewatch the first. No, it, it, it was I in think, the first game. I think I just kind of did both at once. Do you know what I mean? She like definitely I, it, it did something weird when she died I, the first time. I shot it as the dinosaur bit me. Yeah. And then he, she got stunned, but I also died. If that makes sense. Yes. Sense like at ah at the same time. Yeah. But then the dinosaur I, ate her, ate Tanya again. Well, at the it end. looked like the dinosaur ate me again, and then I had two lives, but and then it's like I lost a life. Anyway. Anyway. I won't. October 10th <laughs> update. Uh, graphics uh, moon revamp. Can't remember what it looked like before, but it looks good now. Uh, title banner revamp. I did notice that. That looked good. Graphics background color corrections. Uh, font color changes. Volcano animation revamp. The volcano looks amazing. Oh, Very bubbly. Uh, caveman cannot throw axe when holding an egg. He could before. Mm. Ugh. Not rolled out yet. Uh, no eggs to steal. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Caveman retrieves eggs during intermission. Yeah. Menu revamp. Yeah, Ugh. new menu. Oh, cat! <laughs> cat interference again! Kitten! <laughs> uh, menu revamp. Credits infrastructure. Pokey music framework. Uh, Ms. Mrs. Caveman timing corrections. Pixel correction on volcano. Uh, fix and player can knock out T-Rex at the same time as triggering the T-Rex eating routine. There you go. But that's fixed. Fixed. It's not fixed. <laughs> Tanya broke it again. She's okay. very good at it. Yes, I am. Expert at finding those, those tiny little bugs. I, yeah, I just <laughs> mash buttons when I'm not supposed to mash buttons <laughs> and then right. things happen that aren't supposed to happen. That's yeah, good and for testing. Suddenly, uh -oh. Oh. suddenly, Yamo's on the moon. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're on the moon. <laughs> and you're going, how did Yamo get on the moon? <laughs> no 
rush yet. There's no pterodactyls, which is, which no, is good. You then have to time hectic. the pterodactyls, yeah. Yeah, you have to take a pterodactyl out, then get the egg and run back. I do like the pro because things move faster. Like, this is very slow. You're waiting. Ugh. Oh, no, it's too late. Oh, no. too late. Baby's going to get you. You got to get back home. Get back home. There you go. <laughs> he, like, barks at you. That's awesome. Yeah, it is very cute. Uh, 2600, are all the sounds so far in this TIA sounds? So you did mention in the latest update that you reserved room for pokey music. But I'm guessing these are probably all TIA sounds. So, yeah, TIA sounds. Which, if you can get away with it, they can sound great on the 7800. And you can reserve the whole pokey for all the music. That's the most haunting bug. <laughs> I was hoping this is the last time I had to deal with it. <laughs> Pokey music framework ready. I just need a track. It's just timing. It's so tight, right? With animations like where and when does he get hit? When she get hit? Yeah. yeah. I definitely got bitten Come and here, threw baby. it at the same time. Like on, really, lock. really tight timing. But like you don't have a pillow. I can make a pillow yeah. here. Here, here's a pillow. Like, is this candy? Is this Did you eat candy? all of them? No, not all oh, of them. I haven't had any. Well, you have to <laughs> fight for them. To fight you for them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to take all the good colors just because. Mm. What I'm are the good colors? Up, not green. Not green? <laughs> That's all the good colors. Green is the worst. Kind of soapy. Yeah. Oh, he's turning around. He won't be on my lap. I've always been a fan of purple candy. Mm. Anything with like Purple's a grape good. or Red's blueberry, good. Or, no, you can't or a blue be there. raspberry. Be on my lap, little cat. Anything that turns your mouth blue. Hmm. Pseudographic says he was looking for a pokey musician a couple of weeks ago. Don't know if he found mm. one. That'd be a great title for a documentary about indie homebrew. The, the full, full pokey. pokey. <laughs> the full pokey. <laughs> Baby. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Go back where you're trying to go. Oh, it just he shoots straight up. Okay. Yeah, along most of the area, you shoot straight up for the um, yeah. pterodactyls. Yeah. I oh. like this game a lot. This is from a game and watch. You were saying, right? Uh, a tabletop. Originally? Tabletop. A tabletop. I've got it up there. The pterodactyl. Oh, and you it. <laughs> it's ahead of me, not oh, above no. me. That's okay. At one point, I was thinking about a documentary for homebrew. Yeah. I mean, one's already been made, an incredible one. Oh, my goodness. It's not homebrew, but it was an indie. In, in, get out of the way. She's going to berate you. There, there you go. go. Indie, indie, what is it called? Indie, indie. Indie game? Indie game? I think so. I think it's called indie game. So good. Um... Yeah, like a uh, 2600 homebrew uh, documentary on that. But then I just couldn't find the right angle to, to spin it, to, to make it like have mass appeal. Bring one back, you. take one away. Yeah. You can stand at the cave entrance and guard the eggs. Oh, for the pterodactyl. Oh, okay. But she comes out and it's going to hit you. What's the difference between homebrew and indie games? I would say indie games is for a modern console and homebrew is for an older console. <laughs> but they're very flexible terms. Well, but an indie game in general is independent. an independent company, yeah. right? So if you made a game for Atari nowadays, would it not be a homebrew? Even if it's just you, one person, making it at home, literally making it at home, I would say that's still homebrew. It's indie, though. All homebrew. Is it indie? I you're, think all homebrew is indie. You're making it for Independent Atari. is what in, indie means. Independent. But if you're being paid by Atari, you was commissioned by well, Atari. Well, if you're commissioned not, by not, Atari. That's what I'm saying. Because they are they, they are like seeking out. I think it depends if you're developers. getting paid by a big company. Yeah. Then it's not indie. But it's not independent. Yeah. But most homebrew 
Did she come out and berate you? What happens? She hits you. <gasps> Do you lose a life? I'm guessing. Oh. It doesn't doesn't it say it explicitly, but that's that's what I'm guessing. What about a regional focus? Brazil's 2600 scene, Poland's 8-bit scene. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's there's some pretty neat. Especially Poland's 8-bit scene. Oh, actually, Brazil's really interesting. Yeah. Because they have a very interesting history with video games. Yeah. With their government not allowing video games for a while and then they had like old systems and they caught up and the massive piracy scene there yeah but also poland's an interesting scene mm -hmm. i don't know much of like the history of that but i just know it's oh don't watch out i thought i was uh just past it Eight, eight Polish scene totally rocks. They pretty much own the Atari 8-bit scene. Right? You know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tanya, <laughs> read out all the... When it comes time to all the awards. All the Polish names. Uh, <sighs> oh, the eggs. The eggs. It's so hard to get up to six when those pterodactyls they are They are literally still selling Sega Master Systems brand new from the same company that was selling them to begin with yeah in brazil yeah Tech I, I think that's awesome uh there was a, a brazilian um um seller at prge this year and they brought a whole bunch of brazilian consoles oh yeah 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 right and Look, games moon and moves across the sky Ooh, didn't see that um and they even that was the that was the place that had the um little television that really cool karaoke television. That was in the place where you got your um, they were, uh, Neo Geo, is it? It was it? near. It was near there. It was not the same. It was definitely not a Brazilian Neo Geo. <laughs> Still waiting on my multi-cart for that. Oh my god. So he just loops around, so it just gives you another chance to hit him. Yeah, if you're right by the door. Another angle might be people making new hardware for old consoles. Think Harmony, Plus Card, Atari Vox, Quadtari. I mean, that's interesting. I would say that would be a part of a homebrew. Because people, I don't think, would be... Like, the general population wouldn't be drawn to that. Oh! You were, like, right under I it. had to hit him. I had to hit the pterodactyl. Uh, I'd rather not die than... Anyway. That was good! That was good! That's a fun you game. You made it pretty far. Did you read Fifth? all the candy? No, I'm hiding it from you, so mm. I can eat more of it. I'm going to get another good one. I.e. not green. There you go. Okay, um, oh, let's go left. pro. Oh, so that is forward, that is mm. back. I understand what they're going for. So pressing the right one on start means go forward. I'm like, this is hard. Oh yeah, I'm on pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I was if you're making at a living at it indie if it's a hobby that you make a little <laughs> side money on homebrew that is good that is a good that's a good one yeah well there's so many definitions like mm. i'm gonna have trouble coming up on this not this one but the next one not yeah. this one no for homebrew uh for homebrew yeah there's some uh Here's decisions the thing. that need to be made <laughs> for the Atari Homebrew Awards. I, I don't think it's as bad as you think. Would you call an independent film? Like, a film is still an independent film even, even if they sell it later to a distributor. Yes, that's true. Because it was made independently. Right. So it I think if you make a game as Homebrew and then sell it Oh yeah, that fell to under my earlier definition. Yeah, that's definitely still independent and Homebrew. Yeah, if it was yeah. commissioned. Commissioned or... is different. Perch, like, um, or you funded. make it as part of a big company, yeah. yeah. Um, but eh, 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 do I even want to do that? Like, one person making a game, even though it was mm. financed by a big company, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, we're getting into that territory. Is Atari even a big company? They were a massive company, that's but a good point. Are they considered? They're not Nintendo, right? They're not, uh, what else? You know, Microsoft or Sony. Tato. 
and yeah. But they are making new consoles. Hey, hey, stop it! They made the Atari Bad VCS. Cats everywhere. I don't know. It's so murky. It's so hard. It's so difficult. And everybody has a different. Brando uh, says, "Great point." <laughs> everybody yeah. has a different view on it and mm -hmm. a different opinion. So it's like. Have a good night, the D train. Thank you for night joining -train. us. Do you want the last one? What color is it? Red. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. There. Thank you. Covered in cats today. Of mm -hmm. course. It's because you're wearing a white top. I've got a gray cat and a black and white cat. They're like, white top? <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, gray cat. Would you stop it? It's Bad going after Bernie? Everywhere, yes. I think he wants another treat time because he's like, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. The gray cat's a winning. Yeah. Are you winning? Are you winning, cat? Are you winning? Give it, give it, give it. I oh, love, I love the the T Rex. How how she puts her head up. Squeeze. <laughs> yeah, the animation and graphics. It's are beautiful. So good on this. And colorful too. Good job. Thank you. Um, I love the contrast of the brown and black background, yes. and then the green dinosaur and then the purple pterodactyl. Need some, need some lightning strikes in later levels. Oh, the maybe. sky <laughs> lights up from black. Well, to... and you can see the moon moving across the sky, too, as the uh, yeah. game goes on. I'm going to have to watch for that for the next uh, next level. Yeah. I always find these games so interesting. Like, what inspires someone? <laughs> to make such a different type of game yeah well this is from the 80s so i mean tyrannosaur um you just think of um dinosaurs were big jurassic yeah jurassic park in the 80s you know like that got dinosaurs everyone interested and big. dinosaurs are always big yeah, yeah. especially for kids yeah hey, hey, cat 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 attack hey hey get away from bernie get away get down there bernie has to live calm calm gray cats Calm down. No, no calm. Only Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I only have eyes for Bernie. That's right. Mm -hmm. Bernie must die. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Spit it out. Well, you're not even safe under the dinosaur. Nope. Are you biting? Stop <gasps> it. He is troublesome today. Can't look away. Cause Don't look shoot, away. It shoots right at the, uh, at the caveman. Yeah. But Atari isn't making that stuff though, right? Play on or someone or something. But what about the new Atari yes. De decanter and glasses? <laughs> decanter. decanter, okay. Oh, they made decanter that in house. And glasses set and speaker hats and all the crap. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, uh, well, some of it is somebody buying a license. Yeah. Um, some of it, I mean, Atari's advertising directly for the decanter. Yeah. Um, it is very nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to buy it because I don't drink, but have, did you see it? No, you probably didn't see it. It's this alcohol container. It's very nice. Yeah. And two glasses. It's funny. Very elegant. Very nice. <laughs> I don't okay. know if it's expensive or not. It's like... A no, they're hundred... actually selling that or was it a no, joke? No, they're selling it for real. Oh, they sell a awesome. lot of stuff. Well... Ah! Ah! Ha, ha. And he's, he's, he's about to... Oh. He almost... It has officially like melted. Yeah. Hundred US or something? I don't think it's cheap because you are paying for the Atari logo. Oh, essentially. Good right? point. Don't wait below the volcano. Lava reaches no, you faster. No, no, no. Yeah. Arena Foot says T Rex Google game when no internet might be where the idea came from. This game, yeah. Uh, no, this is a port of an old tabletop. No, from no, the but 80s. The, the Google T Rex might have come from this game. Uh, Who knows? It could be. Yeah. It could be. I, I don't know how. It's, I would say it's a pretty obscure game. I don't know how common the T Rex, is. The, the T-Rex game. Yeah, this game is pretty obscure. I think. The T-Rex on Google page is from a long time ago, isn't it? Like it's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty old. On the broken link or on the broken well, it's, it's internet? It's Netscape. Um, is it the, Netscape? When, when the internet's out, yeah. Oh, not, I, I thought it was it's, Google. It's not Google. Mm. Um, I did have Netscape back in the day. But oh, yeah, that was the time. one to have. 
Decanter is 125. 125 really? US. That makes a difference for us here. It sadly does. It's bad now. It's bad right it's now. It's very bad. At ah. a third, that's how much it is in Canadian. Yeah, at 30%. In Canadian pesos. Canadian pesos. It's bad. I would like that to start improving sometime yes. soon. We go to the U.S. all the time. I know. We like things in the U.S. We don't like the price. Uh, it's 172 expensive. Canadian. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about correct. You guys should come up here. I know. I don't it's understand a deal. why it's a more Americans don't actually vacation come here to Canada. Like. No! It was hidden behind the pterodactyl. Uh, um, I, I could see it. I couldn't get out of the way. Even, like, groceries and stuff. Like, I get it. Groceries. If you're, near the border. If you're getting really cheap groceries, they're cheaper in the States. But, like. I play once more. Oh. It just Did seems it like the, with the price, pro? with the dollar change, it seems cheaper here. Oh, now. it doesn't remember pro and amateur. Mm. I played pro and I went no, back. Yeah, I noticed that too. But you can't tell in the title screen. So. You have to check your options. Yep. Um, Did I go back? No. No, this is fast. What was I going to say? Yeah, vacation here. Yeah. Come, come to Vancouver. Yeah, <laughs> come visit. I mean, we're not a huge city, but there's. if you like the outdoors, yeah. well, don't come right now. There's flooding. But <laughs> you will fun. actually find our restaurants cheap. Yeah, you'd be like... Oh in relative God. terms compared to what I've seen down in the American cities. So. When we go to the U.S. Oh, it, it hurts. And we go and have a meal. Yeah. The price is the same. Like thirty Canadian, and we look on the price. It's thirty American. Yeah, we're like, what's going on? And then we go, and we have to add thirty yeah, percent. Yeah, that's no good. No, it's uh, out of control. Oh, BR Pocock says we keep meaning to. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, it's not far <laughs> for you. Six hours. Yeah, come visit us. Yeah, if you like doing outdoorsy things, we got oh beautiful outdoors. We've got everything. We've got water. We've got oceans, rivers, yeah. skiing, islands. mountains, islands, yeah. a sizable city. And really good wine if you come in the summer and you go cool. to the Okanagan. Yeah. So. Um, which which surprises people, but it's basically the same kind of dry landscape as um, they have in California and like the Napa Sonoma. Very good restaurants of all kinds. Vegan yes. restaurants, too. Although they seem to be struggling right now. Well, so All restaurants struggling. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway. This has been the <laughs> Vancouver Tour Sport promotion right. on our Twitch live stream. That's right. We have to disclose that we have not been paid. <laughs> we have not been paid. <laughs> by Vancouver or BC no. or Canada. We enjoy, we enjoy our travels down to the U.S., but we man, do. the... Oh! oh! Scared the cat. <laughs> Sorry, Atari. That it is, it is frightening. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I should not be eaten by the dinosaur. I have to wait for that egg to come. But way too early in standing. Right, right. Get out of Spit out the egg. It's not. Not the brightest, letting the egg roll forward. Mm. <laughs> I guess it's on a, a little bit of a, a, a hill that we can't see. That's why the egg's rolling forward a bit. Vancouver Aquarium, nice. Hiss, hiss, boo. Uh, uh, no, it is nice. It's incredibly nice. Don't listen to him. It's incredibly nice. I have a friend who does work for them, too. Yeah. James just doesn't like animals in captivity. No, it's sad. No matter what. They, kind we of don't animals, have big mam we don't have big mammals there anymore. Just torture the small ones. No. <laughs> we do they just do cage they up do the small ones. They do rescue seals and otters. And they yep. rehabilitate them. Most of them are that though. Yes, most of them are that. Boo, yes, Especially yes. the baby otters. Oh, oh my the heart. Baby otters. They're so if you've ever seen baby otters holding hands. Oh that's oh my god, that's I did way worse. <laughs> That's a Vancouver Aquarium. We do one more, one more. Oh, Pierre Pocock. Although apparently Orlando, Florida, is past Portland in vegan dining. Said Where? someone random. Orlando? Really? Why Orlando? I would not have picked Orlando. I would not. Have, I would not think. You know, the birthplace of like Disney World and amusement parks. Well, yeah. one of them at least. Orlando. Interesting. I mean, I've never been there, so I've never done a survey of, <laughs> of the food. Yeah, surprising. Some we, travel sites, says Beer Pocock. Wow, we went to Miami. 
and I, Miami, Miami had pretty Miami good. had good food. So I guess it's that was a little while ago, but yeah, a couple years a ago. while ago now. Watch that cat. He's he's looking for trouble. Your poke us demote demoted us to number hey hey get off. Number what? Oh. Number two. The otters eat floating on their backs with their food on their bellies. Yes, yeah, so and they play with the rocks and they cute. go juggle, 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 juggle rocks. Ooh. They're very good at juggling. I hear the New Orleans Audubon Aquarium is a good one. Audubon? I've also, uh, um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Oh. A-U-D-U-B-O-N. Oh. Audubon. Audubon. Um, I've been to this, uh, not Santa Monica. What is it? San Diego? No. In California, there's a really nice one, too. Um, ah. okay. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, I think, oh. has a, a really nice aquarium as well. But uh, the Vancouver Aquarium is in the middle of Stanley Park, which is a big, very large sort of the largest urban peninsula park. Largest in North America. And I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I think my dad told me this fact, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm never entirely sure if everything he says is true. Um, <laughs> if the person who designed it is the same who designed Central Park in New York. Don't know. I haven't heard that, so maybe. Maybe I'm thinking Lay about Lay your egg. Part. Bug. <laughs> Uh-oh. Monterey. Yes, B.R. Pocock. Monterey. Oh, Monterey no. Bay. That's, that was the... Um, Lay your egg. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a long time um, between eggs. Not Santa Barbara. Monterey. Yeah, that's a lovely aquarium, too. Oh, I'm out of, out of throwing axes. Quick. No! No! <laughs> Waited too long. Uh-oh, he's coming for you. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> You're so cute. Very cute. <laughs> Yeah, the otters are adorable. Oh, I have a friend so who works cute. at the um, volunteers at the MMR Marine Mammal Rescue Cl uh, Center. Oh. And so when people call in and they find like a seal without a mother or an injured an injured uh, marine animal, bat suit and uh, she doesn't go out and get them, no. but she works at the place where they take care of them and feed them back to health and rehabilitate them. Sadly, so. you can't just hold them and pet them. Yeah. No, they have to rebuild. No, them. they they have to be very careful with them that they don't get too used to humans too. So she's like, there's a rule like often there's only one person who's allowed to deal with them. They right. can't have everyone going in and like, ooh, look at the cute little seal. <laughs> Everybody that. take turns petting the yeah floofies. Yeah, the little wet floofies. Is that cat being okay? Is he chewing on it? I don't know where he is. That's a bad thing. He's in the back somewhere. Okay. Oh, they notoriously filmed the indoor bits of Star Trek IV there. Monterey? Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. What happens if you waste all three axes? Uh, you can't uh, you kill back. the pterodactyl. You have to go back to the... Um, your hut. Your hut. So you have to kind of watch your axes. It probably gets pretty relevant later mm -hmm. on when the pterodactyl is going nuts. Basically, you want to hit the pterodactyl first, mm. then get the egg. And it's not ugh, not too bad right now, but spin around. What? Did he no. steal it? No, because no, he can't steal it if you're right in front of it. Oh, usually loops around, though, but... Mm. Uh, probably the timing. Ah! Good job. Oof. Good job. Oof. Just, just enough axes to do that. Stay here because yep. the, the distance the lava balls have to take mm -hmm. is the furthest. Is furthest. If you stand here, it's you're in big trouble. Good job. Thank you. Last one. Woo! Whew, level four. I'm gonna see the moon. Go moon. Moon. Moon moved. Yay! I saw the moon move. How many levels you have to get before the moon disappears? Probably like 30. <laughs> a lot. Come on, lay your egg. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No, oh, another pterodactyl. I'll take care of it first. There you go. I like the pterodactyl's little legs. Ah. He dives. Can you read that? 
I can't read it because I'm playing. If he dies for an egg and you manage to make it to the cave, you can save the egg. It says 2600. Oh, yeah. okay. That's so you, you do, yeah, if you're right on. in front of the cave, then you are you save your egg, too. Okay. And the, and the pterodactyl goes away. Well, he goes right past you. And he doesn't loop around, which is which is Yeah. Good. If you're standing there, I think at a certain point he will loop around, though. Like, what's going to happen here? Ah, okay. So if he's already in if dive, an he's, if he's already in a dive, in a dive. Okay. Yeah, if he's not in a dive, I think he loops back around. Hmm. 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 That I wonder makes where sense. the break point is. There, right above the, very close to above the. Um, but do you have to have an egg for that to happen? No, 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 no. You you just have if to... you're in front of the cave, he won't dive. No, he loops around. Here, see, he doesn't loop. Around. Yeah, oh, if you're in front so you of the cave, dive. he won't dive. There. there. So that's a good way to get rid of him. <gasps> oh. Oh, what? Oh, the timing was crazy on yeah, that. Yeah, your timing was very close. Was he going? Was he going for me? Tanya is correct. I like to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. You weren't paying attention. Damn it. <laughs> it's a challenging game. I want to play again. No, you can keep playing. No one's stopping you. Because I was dumb. <laughs> died dumb. No, no one likes I to was... die dumb. <laughs> It's, Not it's always, attention. there's nothing worse than a, than Dying a, dumb. um, stupid death. Ugh. Yeah. It's a really, really, really good game. It's, it's really good now. I don't know what, what the, the change was from before. It's, it's just, it plays really well now. I think the game balancing mechanics are, mm. are um, on point. Yeah, I'm a, or maybe I was just terrible before <laughs> playing it. I don't know. Something, something hit a tipping point. You know? mm. That's really, really good. Oh, you're welcome. Twenty six hundred. It is a blast to play. That's yeah, why I want to keep is. playing. That's that's. Watch out, radioactive man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sign of a good game. You don't want to stop playing. Where you don't want to stop playing, and when you die, you're like, "That was me. That was. Yeah, it was me it was being all me. stupid. <laughs> yes. It wasn't the game no. being unfair, no. or you know, it's well, like some oh. games are purposefully unfair that are all based on luck, do. But so. uh, yeah, I don't really like the luck-based ones. Where I'm I like, don't either. I'm like, well, I could die here. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. And then you're like, oh, okay, game over. Fun. Now, this one is all on you if you do it badly. Uh, and you Nostalgic 26 says, I suggest showing the last score on the title screen. James's button mashing made it so we could miss oh. the score at the end of the game. Yeah, Yeah, because you could press the button at any time during this game because you're throwing axes and stuff. Or Always. is this saying welcome to the chat room? Because it disconnected and reconnected. Oh, it did. Is that That's a fine. problem? It could be, it could not be. I don't know. I hope people are there. Are you still there? Hello? They're, yeah, they're all here. It's all fine. Okay. It's just that computer. Okay. Lost connection. Ah. Just, hey, cat, you get away or from that. Or it's cat. Get away. Could be cat. Oh I gosh. blame 100%. I think this guy's a little under the weather. Yeah, He's he had a super, shot super, super cuddly right now. He was Pareto'd. No, he actually wasn't. He was good. He wasn't Pareto'd at all. He didn't even notice when he got uh, the shot. stuck with a needle. He was just being held, and he just kind of was like, what's going on? He was being pet. Yeah. Or he, was, yeah, he was being held, you know, tight. <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't being burritoed. No, he wasn't getting angry. And they had a sign up there with a burritoed cat and Aww. then a spicy burritoed cat. <laughs> and the spicy burritoed cat was angry. And does this have high scores? Um, and I didn't see high scores. Or, or are we just not good enough to get one? <laughs> yeah, that could be it. <laughs> didn't even do well enough to get to even look at the high scores. Yeah. Hey, 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 sir. But yeah, I don't know if high score table is on your map. It really Shh. should be. Hey, hey. No, no. Sorry. You go to the side. I'm sorry, kitten. Get. Get away from the cords. It's just naughty. The poor little guy. <laughs> oh, he's under the weather. He's under the weather. Yeah, he's been pretty relaxed. Just flopped today. to the side when I put him down. Um, is a high score table on the radar? Twenty six hundred. 
to using like the Atari Vox for uh, keeping score of the top 10 or five. Yeah, no high scores as of yet since 20. As of yet, okay. yeah. That's good to hear that they may be coming. High scores are always fun to have. Yes. Because you always want to beat it. You always want to, you know, have your best scores kept on the screen or forever. Watch that cat. He's naughty. Oh, he's he's looking for cords to chew. Look at it. Look at him. Psst. Hey, I see you, even though I'm playing. Everyone sees you. They can see you on the cat cam. Nosing, nosing the cables. <laughs> Don't need any nosy cats. Bye bye. Yeah, that's a good tactic. Knowing that. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait you till he dives down. You can't wait, you know, because you'll. The, um, but you'll get misses will come out. But um. Yeah, you just wait near it, like right here. Watch. And then you go, nope, and you can get yeah. rid of him for a while. And he doesn't loop back around, and you don't have to hit him. No, oh, he does. There he comes well, back. But right not quick. immediately. Hey! Oh, this cat. <laughs> he's just looking forward to Halloween and his costume. Oh, he... yeah, these two have costumes. Yeah. You'll have to tune in and see. Yeah, uh, it'll see be what's... very cute. We'll see how uh, tortured they are wearing oh, them. Oh, they're going to be tortured. And how long we can keep them on for? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. We should have a bet on how long they can keep their costumes on for. So you can get rid of them. Out you go. Bye bye. He does come back pretty quick. Not as quick as if he looped around, but mm. that time he came back pretty quick. That's it. I see things. Oh, I know. The Toko says no kill, no score. Which is true. If you don't kill the pterodactyl, you get no score. Oh, true. Um, and then Nostalgic says, I do like that Miss Nub doesn't have smooth animation. It feels like a throwback to the tabletop game. That was yes. an inspiration. Yeah. Yes. There we go. We get out of here. She just pops out. Mm -hmm. Pops away. I can't do that yet. <laughs> I have to wait for him to come down to the next the lower level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Only have one guy left. Kitten! Please stop, sir. Sir, you will be asked to leave. <laughs> asked to leave the premises forcefully. Oh! It's hidden! Sadness. Saw it at the last second. Okay, well, I'm not five? progressing very far. Keep hitting five or six, Five, maybe? I think, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Really great game. It is available on the Atari Age forums. Definitely give it a download. Oh, it's such a good game. I love... I Everything. love this the design and the characters in it. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I think it looks really so good. So well programmed. Yeah. Graphics are amazing. Yeah. Um so let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. We've got some big things. Next week <laughs> we have the immortal John Hancock Yay! live awesome. on stream. Tuesday? Tuesday. Friday. Tuesday. With you. Tuesday. Tuesday. Nice. Uh same time. So we definitely want to tune in for that. We're going to be asking him a whole bunch of questions. I'll be taking questions from the chat. We're talking about his games he's produced and his YouTube channel mm -hmm. and everything else. And then two days later, it's Halloween. <gasps> and we're going to be streaming on Halloween. Yay. These cats and us in costume playing the exclusive world premiere of Zombie Harvest from Reboot from Siren of Jay, mm -hmm. Lawrence Stavely. And we're going to be playing Spiders Arcade again because it's spiders and it's on theme. Yep. And then the show after that, on the Friday after that, we have the exclusive world premiere of the retail version of Falling Leaves Collection for the 7800. Um, I believe that's being released at EJAG World, I think. I'll have more info later. Mm -hmm. um, in November, we have the exclusive world premiere of Bounty Bob Strikes Back. And an interview, live interview with Bob DeCrescenzo, <laughs> the first 7800 game in 33 years to be released through Atari themselves. Mm. Uh, later on, we're going to do Atari Age Day, unboxing all the new Atari Age games yeah, as they go into play. the store. Yes. Whipping through them, boom, 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 yep. talking to the developers. Love it. It's Love a it. lot of fun. Yep. Um, and later on, we're going to have an exclusive world premiere of Casey's, Casey's Gold. Gold at some point. Yes. A uh, live interview with Dan Kitchen nice. from Audacity Games and so much more. 
Uh, yes, I actually put in, uh, Vitoko, the ABBUC 2024 contest entries ready to be played as a show when they're released to the public because mm. I don't have a subscription to ABBUC. <laughs> yeah. um, so I can't play them early. Um, so I'll be playing them when they're released to the when public. When they're released, very cool. And I, and I think they're, they're going to be judged soon. Like the results mm. are coming very, very soon. Mm. Um, I haven't heard i can't remember when that's released maybe Vitoka would know yeah can the pterodactyl be hit by falling lava no just the player yeah, yeah. good games yeah. good show bad cat yeah, yes. yeah he was no, pretty good today he's a very good cat the that's other the one bad one the bad cat. he's in the, the hallway one, the one who's been relegated to the hallway yeah um so lots of great games coming up thank you for tuning in Thank you for uh, pl making these awesome games, VHZC mm -hmm. and 2600. Both were in the chat today. Awesome. And also uh, Too Quick Capri for Side Bounce. Yes. Bunch of fun games. So much fun. Um, thank you for tuning in. Vitoko, Nostalgic, 2600, Dan AVC. Gamma Dev. 8-Bit Poet. Double PG. Down, Chitlet La, BR Pocock, Arena Foot, a Cardboard Box. Cafe Ben. D -train, D train popped in for a little yeah. bit. Pseudographics. Pseudographics. Yeah. Polygops. MK Smith, 7 of 7. RC7E. Might have said that. Mm. Prow 7. Lots of peeps today. Oh, yeah. Rando. Lots of people. Um, ITC. Oh, ITC right at the end. Yeah. Excellent. And a poll is long gone. Uh, I did read out the results. Did you? It was about <laughs> no 66, yes 33. Okay. So okay. you'll have to watch the replay. Yeah. Because it kind of dies down right after the yeah. poll, and it's about how it is. Hits the end pretty quick. Um, so that's it for us. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> at the latest on Friday. Don't mm -hmm. have anything scheduled for Friday, but okay. it will be Darcy. Darcy's that day, back. we'll Excellent. see what it is. Maybe, okay. maybe Vectrex. Ooh. Maybe Vectrex. Vectrex will be good. Because I think I could do that no problem. Just set up a Vectrex and S let it point go. Point a camera at it. Point yep. a camera at it. Excellent. I think we might do that if nothing pops okay. up in the meantime in the next couple of days. Um, so have a great week. Yes. Everyone. And, uh, Enjoy stay the safe. Week. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the week. And, and uh, we'll see you on Friday. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye everyone. Bye. -bye.